Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy, fantasy novels, and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the spell False Life. All right. Uh, I didn't get a good chance to look over this one. What, is, what does False Life do? Very short, very simple. Uh, first yeah. level, a necromancy spell takes your action. Uh, you get a D4 plus 4 temp HP for an okay. hour. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's it. Uh, if you cast it at upper level spell slots, you get 5 extra HP for each spell level above first. All right, that that feels like it's a deceptive scaling. Is that uh, right? Or... I, I... Well, yes. no, maybe not. Well, is it? Here, okay, here's the problem with false life. And I say a problem loosely. Temp HP is good on characters that like getting hit. Mm. It's good on characters that can use it as a means of mitigating actions. It is not good on characters that could be using it, like, if it's competing with a resource that otherwise deals with problems. This is a preventative measure, not a, uh, a measure that necessarily solves problems. So you, this is something that you you would want to have on a character whose objective is to go into a fight and take more hits to last longer to deal more damage. And that is not normally what the sorcerers and wizards of the world are doing. This, that's not normally something that you would expect like a melee wizard to want to have. I feel like Mage Armor is in the same camp, but Mage Armor at least lasts eight hours. So you're going to get it for a whole adventuring day, which is going to encompass some short rests and stuff like that. False Life is really only going to last up until your next short rest. Um, and it goes away the moment you take five to eight damage, which makes it bad. In fact, really bad. Like the bottom end of castability as far as spells go. However, because the spell is bad, I see very few people taking the Fiendish Vigor Eldritch Invocation, which is absurd. Fiendish Vigor lets you cast False Life if it will. It's a Warlock Invocation that you can take at second level, which means you can spam this over and over and over and over and over again, um, which is really good. Uh, having 8 temp HP, because you can cast until you get 8 uh, mm -hmm. for an hour, that you can refresh at the end of every single fight is incredibly useful um, and will make Frontline Warlocks have a way better time. Um, and I really think that, like, I should advocate say, because I think the majority of people that are going to be looking into False Life are probably looking into it because, is Fiendish Vigor good? Yes. Fiendish Vigor is very good. False Life is not on its own. All right. Yeah, that's uh, something I wouldn't have thought of. Um, let me ask you this question. Temporary hit, hit points. Um, if Does losing those affect your concentration? It does. You ah, still bummer. take damage normally. We've had this conversation a dozen times, and every single time I'm like, does it? And I've finally learned, yes, it does. You've Wait. told me before people in your comments and other people on the internet were like, yep, it does still break your concentration on that fun stuff. I don't remember ever having this conversation before. Great. That's we can check. We can go. No, YouTube comments, comb through have. the videos. Tell us which of the videos Bob and I have discussed. Does the concentration get broken if you have 10 HP? There's like at least five of them. Maybe not five, <laughs> at least like three of them. It happens okay. more often than I care to admit because I've been wrong a lot. All right. Well, I'll probably remember it next time. Uh, another, uh, this is a great place to talk about temporary HP rules because, you know, those are always fun. Uh, they don't stack. So if you cast this six times, you get 1d4 plus four, whatever the highest result of that is what you get. Yeah. Um, you don't get like four or five and then eight and then seven and then five all stacked on top. Nope. It's just whatever the highest result is. Um, which is, yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. Yeah. A d4 but, uh... plus nine temp HP is a lot of a temporary HP, I guess. It's the same level spell slot, like, to steal damage. Just remove a creature from, the like, cold person something. Use invisibility is going to have a way bigger impact on the world than nine extra hit points or so like that. This is something you probably, it's hard to talk about a lot because it's just like, you don't need this on the characters that get it. Yeah. So. Now the, uh, the upcasting, that's, I say it deceptively, uh, beneficial because it's uh, you, know, you you are effectively kind of doubling your hit points, but at what cost? Yeah, the cost of a precious spell slot. Yeah, this I I could see characters that are in the upper tiers finding that they're like not using all their second or third level slots. Which if you're not using all your third level slots, cast more fireballs, cast more major images, cast more powerful third level spells. There's a ton of them that are going to be better than uh, what amounts to around 15 to 19 temporary HP. 
Um, fun fact, Fireball does more than 19 damage. Um, and that's the best case scenario that only affects you. So, you know, take their HP away, don't give yourself extra. Um, mm. But in those situations, if you are the upper level wizard, it is really harmless to have this. Uh, even just being like, yeah, sure, I'll take five extra HP, I guess. Eh, shield's going to mitigate more damage than that almost always. Uh, like, if we compare this to shield, the shield is a plus five AC for a round, which is ridiculous, especially because it only will apply whenever you need it. If a hit ever does more than a D4 plus four damage, which in the upper tiers it absolutely will, blocking that hit is way better than false life to the point where it will often be better than upcasted versions of false life attacks will be dealing 25 30 damage in the upper tiers shield can negate it entirely false life is only ever reducing a number by the 10 hp value so if you are looking for defensive options shield is better than this in the upper tiers if you already have shield and still aren't using all your spell slots and then are like i guess i also want to not die as often and a buffer of 9 h or 8 hp is going to make that difference sure <laughs> I guess you take false life. That's where it lands because it, it the cost is really, really low, like as low as it could possibly be outside of Fiendish Figure. And the reason Fiendish Figure is great is because the cost is an invocation slot. And that is re for infinite false life, so for an invocation is great. Um, especially because it's in the low tiers, whenever this is the most impactful. Yeah, I just that like it why though? Why would you need five extra time HP at the upper tiers and you like I guess 10, 10 HP at the upper tiers is like me half of a hit for a second level slot. That doesn't seem that does that seem worth it to you? No. Yeah, I don't think it is either. No, no, not when you could be doing other things. Yeah. That keep you from getting hit as often. Yeah. Find other things to cast your spells on than false life. There have to be better options than this, even with how low of a cost it has. Yeah. Uh this, this one, there's not a lot to talk about, is there? No. It's just, no. is a D4 plus 4 worth a first level slow, spell slot? And the answer is no, it is not. Okay. Well, you got a rating <laughs> for this one? Uh, this is, on Fiendish Vigor, this is a 3 out of 5, a very serviceable invocation. Um, As a spell slot, I really struggle to give it a 1, but I can't see a time I'd ever want to cast this, so it's giving it a 1. <laughs> eh, I'll give it a 2. I think at first level, where it can effectively double your hit points, you, you might find some uses for it. You, it might save your save your hide once or twice. I just like, when are you using half of your resources on this, right? As opposed to like shield, as opposed to magic missile. Probably I don't see never. it. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel like it's one bad. There. I'm 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 trying I'm think I'm trying to think of the, some of the spells I've given one to and no it has to be pretty freaking you have to fast. hate it to get a one yeah well have you ever seen someone cast this no yeah <laughs> <laughs> so there you go still it's, still gets it too I'm into it it's not a not a hate crime or anything <laughs> you are all right well that was false life. Thank you, Sam, and thank you, everyone, for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, informative, or entertaining, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below. You needn't smash it. A gentle tap will suffice. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And make sure you check out the links in the description, where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels, Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.